There you go now, fellas. Here we go. Saturday night. We've got the old Tawny Deep Batoli Premium. 17.5%. This is a big winery in Australia. Di Batoli. They're a big, big unit. They've got a great restaurant out there. I've been there. Beautiful food. Lovely. Cheers, everyone. So, I don't know if you guys think this is weird, but this is um, Green Globe winner 2014. Which sort of means, like, this is a way to buy wine in the future. They, it keeps for a long time. You're not buying bottles. It's really low waste. Um, I like it. And it's a great old tawny, this one. This will cost you about... I don't know, 18 bucks at um, Dan Murphy's. It tells you it's equal to like five and a half bottles. You're kidding. How much is that going to cost you? A bit more than 18 bucks. Especially if you're buying something this good. It's a really high quality tawny. It's a lovely drop. Be good actually bottled and sat for 10 years. But anyway. We're just going to have it how it is. And that's how it is. So, um, hope you guys have a great weekend. I was going to say something. No, what I was going to do is someone asked me what's on the wall. There's a picture from um, Chiang Mai. My friend bought it for me. I was his best man at his wedding and he gave me that as a present afterwards i thought that was nice now what's spinning about this one is my mate now lives in new guinea cole and i found this and this was given to the australian like um consulate general or whatever in papua new guinea he must have died and I picked it up. Anyway, that is what it is. There's a little picture I got off my next door neighbour in Camberwell. And it's done by a famous painter, but someone put their signature over the top because they pretended they were a great painter. And they pinched all these pictures or they altered all these pictures and put their signature on. How's that one? And... That way he got in with her and he chatted her up. Anyway, and then we got the, the crocodile down here. My grandfather caught that. So that's about 80 years old or something like that. No. Yeah, getting close. He caught he shot that I think 46. So what have we got? 50, 60, 60 something years. Yeah, that's pretty old croc. Now we've got the beast, that's my wife's and all the family car, that's the, uh, the Lexus 340. Stick it on sports mode, it goes like a rocket ship, anyway, I won't go there. That's the rest of the place, we've got a few bits and pieces out, some tools, some down lights, uh, we stacked some shit up, and there's like... Some things I've collected around the world. This is out in the man's cave. Now we've got the kick-ass stereo. Big Harman Kardon. Yeah, some uh, Buddhist relics from when I was a monk in Thailand. Really nice boomerang. I thought that was really well done and it's made out of good hardwood. Now old caddy badge. This is good. Little croc, another little one. This is a. Oh, look at the. You're kidding. Look at the spider webs. I haven't cleaned this for a while, have I? You're kidding. That'll deafen you. Anyway, I got this from Vietnam, fellas. This is uh, the uh, first Chinese um, emperor's tomb. This is from when I was a monk. This is, I, I used to have holy water in this and bless people with that. That's out of Vietnam or Cambodia, we're not sure. I bought it in a place in Melbourne. 
Of course, you've got your green or white Tara. I can't remember just off the top of my head. I was given this when I was a monk in Thailand off one of the head monks. A few little odds and ends given to me and whatever. An ivory one, which is probably no good. This is some real old ancient Japanese one. That's a beauty. Oh, the animals. You gotta have them, the fish. This I got when I was a monk. This is a bit trippy. But it should be left at the temple. I've got to go and drop it off at the temple. You know why, don't you? It's imperfect. Look at the head on the side of that monk. It's gone. Anyway, I'll drop that off. Oh, here's some pictures. When I travelled around the world. You know, we went to Thailand and, um, you know, Hawaii and all different places. And that's one of the first... Very first collages I made, that was from the first trip in, that's uh, Chowang Noi, that's Chowang Noi, you know, it was first trip to Thailand, I just loved it. Oh, right, I'll leave you with that guys, there's too much of my life I've just shown. Buddhist monk living in Thailand for nine months as a monk, rebirth, anyway I love it, so it is what it is, cheers and see ya.